Um, so today we're going to talk about alpha 1 selective focus. Okay. Alpha 1 selective focus. So um, we have uh, a number of um, drugs in this category. So we have um, firstly alfozosin. Okay. So alfozosin. And then we have um, tamsulosin. and terazosin. So we want to focus on these three first, okay? So um, this alpha-1 blockers uh, can be used to relax um, smooth muscle in benign prosthetic hyperplasia, okay? So in BPH, benign prosthetic hyperplasia, what you have is enlargement of the prostate gland, okay? So what you want to do is you want to relax the smooth muscle, okay, and so that you can increase in the, you can you can increase the urinary flow rate, okay, and improve the obstructive symptoms, okay, because if your prostate is enlarged and then you impinge on this area, so you are going to have difficulty in urinating. So if you can improve this, you can. Um, relax the smooth muscle here, okay, so you can allow the urine to flow smoothly, okay. So we want to concentrate on firstly alfuzosin hydrochloride, okay, alfuzosin hydrochloride. Alfuzosin hydrochloride. Um, so this drug, um, um, there are only tablets. Okay, it's it's found in um, tablets, and also in modified release form. Okay, also tablets. So there are two types. So there are the normal tablets, or we have the modified release. Tablets. So let's talk about the indications for what, why do we give um, alfuzosin. So as mentioned previously, we give it to relax smooth muscle in benign prostatic hypoplasia. Okay, B P H. Okay, so this is a condition affecting. Um, elderly men usually, okay. So they have problems in urinating. So one of the treatment options is to give um, alpha blockers like alfuzosin. So what are the cautions, okay? Cautions for in giving patients alfuzosin. So we have to be aware that um, alpha-1 selective alpha blockers, they reduce blood pressure. So patients who receive, patients who are already on antihypertensive, so we need to um, reduce the dose, okay? Reduce dosage of alpha -zosin. And we also have to be aware of, um, we have to be cautious in giving patients who are um, the, uh, in the elderly category and also patients with hepatic and renal problems or impairment, okay? So you have hep hepatic, you have liver and you have kidney problems, then you have to um, be cautious. So contraindications. Alpha blockers should be avoided in patients with history of postural hypotension. Okay, postural 
hypotension. So if patients have a drop in their blood pressure when changing posture, then um, we have to try avoid giving them these drugs. And also patients with um, micturition syncope, okay? Micturition syncope, okay? Because some patients, they tend to um, black out or faint, okay? When they make, they have these, um, when they urinate, okay? So what are the adverse effects? What are the adverse effects or side effects of um, giving alfozosin hydrochloride? So um, the side effects include um, drowsiness, okay? You become drowsy. Okay, and then you have hypotension, low blood pressure. And so probably the drowsiness is because of this hypotension, especially postural hypotension. And of course, this can drowsy and then you hypotension and then you can develop syncope, okay? You lose conscious consciousness. And then you can become weak, okay? Ast uh, what we call asthenia, okay? Asthenia. Some develop um, headaches. And then you have, um, you might get gastrointestinal disturbances like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation. Some people develop edema. So this is the British spelling, or you can have the American spelling without the O. And then blurred vision, okay, your vision, vision becomes bad, blurred. Okay, you might have rhinitis, okay. Inflammation in your nasal passage. So okay, you might have erectile disorders. Okay, you can have tachycardia. Probably as a reaction or a, a reaction of the body to hypotension. So your body might compensate by causing tachycardia. And also you can have palpitations and of course you might have hypersensitivity re hypersensitivity reactions like crash brightness angedema etc so next um, we're going to talk about a drug that is also um, like um, alfozosin which is doxa Zosin. Okay, so doxazosin, um, generally speaking, um, it's it's very similar to it's very similar to um, alfozosin, except that um, I'm not aware of the drug having any um, any uh, what we call modified release. Um, form okay, so we only have tablets, normal tablets. So that's doxazosin. And then again, we have um, tamsulosin. Okay, again, it's similar to quite very similar to al um, alfuzosin. Again, it, um, it the form is in. It has like at least two forms, okay? You can have tablets and also you have capsules. Okay, I'm not sure whether we have modified release, not that I'm aware of. Um, one um, good thing about, or one advantage of tamsulosin over alfuzosin is that um, you can have, uh, you might give uh, once daily, 
um, 400 micrograms tablet um, for patients, okay? So you can give one tablet or one capsule. So next is um, terazosin. Okay, terazosin also is um, quite similar to um, alphazosin. One difference probably is that you so you might develop um, so this is with terazosin. So you might develop um, weight gain, okay? You might increase, you have an increase in your weight, okay? And then you might have decreased libido, okay? Libido. And some people develop back pain. Okay? So that's terazosin. Otherwise, um, you have um, also tablets only for for the for terazosin, okay. And and when it comes to brand names, okay, for terazosin, there is a quite a famous brand which is Hytrin, okay. Terazosin, there is a brand called Hytrin, so you don't have to memorize this, but just in case you notice, some people are on this drug, hydrin, so you know that um, this is a drug um, that is an alpha blocker that is usually used um, to treat um, benign prosthetic hypoplasia. So I think that's all for now. Okay, we'll continue in the next video. Okay, thank you.